back. How are we doing today? I hope you're doing very well. So for today, we have another one of the World War II genre movies. And this is another one that has been watched for me to watch by my patrons as well. And actually, without the voting, I wouldn't even know that this movie existed. I haven't heard it, even though it's a very recent one. So obviously, from the title, you know, I'm going to watch, this is from 2016, Hexo Ridge. I mean, it's a very recent movie. I, ha I can't recall seeing it being advertised anywhere either. So I, do, I never knew that there was a movie like this until this was watered for me to watch. So I saw the movie poster. I actually do not know the actors, even though, again, they are new. Because I have not watched movies, I do not know these actors as much. And all I know from the Hacksaw Reach, the name, is what the documentaries that I've watched or whatever I have read is about this reach that was atop of a, like a vertical cliff. So, the, so the, I know it's about a World War II, um, an incident, but I do not know how this is going to be portrayed. So I'm very much looking forward to it. So as you know, I enjoyed and cried my eyes out throughout Saving Private, Saving Private Ryan. It was a fantastic movie, one of the best movies I've watched, undoubtedly. I'm looking forward to watch this one. It's a very new one compared to Saving Private Ryan. Let's see how it has holds and let's see what's the story as well. So if you like the video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so as well. And as always, you can find my full-length reaction along with my proper outros over at Patreon, link to which is in the comment down below. So without further ado, let's join to see today's movie. Hexer Ridge Pal, where should you be talk? Hey, cheater! <laughs> they dug up the corner of Jackson and Maine. It's like we boys never existed. <coughs> Lock him with your right. Tom! Oh! That was some crazy fight. Yes, ma'am! Tom, stop. What's that gonna teach the boy? Al's gonna be okay. Why does he hate us so much? He hates his own life. He hates himself. <laughs> well, I never said they were saying an angel. Oh, the chance of dragging them. Just talk. You're gonna be fine now, you're gonna be fine. What do you need? My belt. <laughs> well, uh, I don't have your belt. No, I know that ma'am is out there. It's right out there with the boys. Okay. I'm just here to take blood. I'll give you mine. You ever given blood before, Mr. Where are you going looking all spruced and nice? Met someone yesterday. Spoke to her. Oh, well, in that case, come give your brother a big hug. Come here. here. Yes, ma'am, I have. <laughs> You're the belt man. Ever since you stubbed me with that needle, my heart's been beating real fast. Every time I think about you, it's faster still. <laughs> 
No, I just think you're the prettiest thing I've ever seen. That's because I'm sitting in the dark. <laughs> you need to watch where you're going. You coming? <laughs> I just hope that when our Hal gets shot, it's through the front of his jacket. Already got hit in the back. It blew most of his guts and intestines out his front. Awful everywhere. It was lucky he was dead, so he never knew how awful his uniform looked. <laughs> Get out of my sight. That father is having PTSD for all these years. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> but I have to enlist. I figure I'll be saving people, not killing them. Are you going to ask me to marry you or what? <laughs> so, you marry me? Then yes. Yes, I will. These three were my best friends. I grew up with them. I don't want to have to visit my sons here. Daddy, I, I signed up already. Nobody else jumps in, does things quick without thinking like the damn idiot fools we were. War is just going to fit in with you, your ideas. Did they get married? Uh, I almost forgot. Here, I want you to have this. This stuff. Bye. Hey, hey, sorry, pal. Randall Fuller. Desmond Doss. Call him teach. No one understands a word he says. The testicles there belong to a man calling himself Hollywood. <gasps> hey, I just got these shoes. Attention! <laughs> Line up! Move it! Let's go! Move it! Move it! The knife stuck in his stone. There's something off in your presentation, Private. Can't place it. I have a knife in my foot, Sarge. Oh, yes. Of course. Name private. Desmond Daw. I have seen stocks of corn with better physiques. <laughs> Everyone outside, now! Then move it! All right, just get in my uniform, sorry. Should I ask him, too, Corporal? No. Now move your privates, private parts. <laughs> move it! <laughs> Son of an exhibitionist! <laughs> exhibitionist. The rabbit hole. The rabbit comes out of his hole. Runs around the tree, goes back into them. You no, know, if you don't breathe, you'll die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good private idiot. What do we got here, Doss? One for each titty. You were tying a bowline, boy, not building a bra. Come on, ladies, pick it up. Move it, move it. I want to see some fire here. Run like you need it. Down, down, down. Come on, come on, move it. Let's go with that time, boys. Come on, Grip the wood, grip the wall, don't get splinters! Drive! Drive! Move your asses to the finish line! Why the uh, two are very competitive against each other? Hustle! Hustle! Get Drive! Nice work, Doss! This is a personal gift from the United States government to each and every one of you. Grab a girl. Don't point your gun forward. I do not want to be shot today. Pay attention! Oh, his sixth commandment. I was, I was told I don't have to carry a weapon. Come again, step forward, Private. I can't be hearing this right. I'm sorry, Sergeant. I can't touch a gun. I was just never supposed to be sent to a rifle company. He's a CO, sir. She don't kill. That's all. Yes, sir, that's all. You know, quite a bit of killing does occur in a war. I'm a Seventh Day Adventist, so... Saturday is my Sabbath, so I'm not allowed to work then. 
but we ask the enemy not to invade on the Sabbath because private dossiers at prayer. As long as you're in this company, under my command, you will obey my orders, period. <coughs> I'm putting you in for a Section 8 psychiatric discharge. Private Doss does not believe in violence. He does not practice violence. You see, Private Doss is a conscientious objector. So I realize some of you might have strong feelings about this. It is what we men fight for. I will expect everyone in this company to give Private Doss the full measure of respect he is due. Are you thinking better than this? No. Yeah, see, I don't think this is a question of religion, fellas. I think this is cowardice. <laughs> now, this would be the kind of broad that deserves a real man. Please. Please give it back, Smitty. Please give it back, Smitty. But I understand that God talks to you, is that right? Sir, I'm not a crazy person. It's a very religious person. God says not to kill. That's one of his most important commandments. His religious views are certainly unique, but they do not constitute grounds for Section 8 discharge. But he's a legitimate, conscientious objector. He must be allowed to work as a combat medic, provided he qualifies in all other areas of his training. He throws God at you. You throw hell right at him. I want him gone. Means that there's... Gosh, your area is a disgrace. It's a pig stop! You know passes this weekend. You will all be on KP! Now, everybody in full gear for a 20-mile hike! Uh, the, the unit is gonna get angry with this guy now. Hey, look! Knock it off! Try to sleep in! I wonder how his brother worked out. This isn't good for anybody. Sure ain't what I joined up for. Time to quit this. Finish getting dressed and I'll walk you down. I got extra guard duty today and I'm on KP this morning, so... Can't. It's not going, Serge. Are you saying that you don't know who attacked you? Well, I never said I was attacked, sorry. You bruised half your body sleeping. I, I sleep pretty hard. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't authorize your pass. This is a furlough for men who have passed the basic train. I put in for this furlough three weeks ago. I'm getting married this afternoon. Show me you know how to handle a rifle, and I'll sign your furlough. Oh. For God's sake, Doss. Just stop this nonsense and quit. Oh, no. How much longer would you like to wait, Dorothy? Not enough. I'm so very sorry. Sometimes men just get cold feet. So he really stuck by his religious belief. And just like any man, I wrestle with my conscience, but what do you do when everything you value in this world is under attack? I'm only here because I don't want to see you rotting in a prison cell. Plead guilty. Throw yourself at the mercy of the court. Maybe they'll let you go home and pray. If I can't convince you, maybe she can. <gasps> they wouldn't let me call you. I've done everything they asked me except this one thing. I'm being treated like a criminal just because I won't kill. And you tried. Probably nobody. And why can't you just pick up the stupid gun and wave it around? You don't have to use it, just meet them halfway. But I don't know how I'm going to live with myself if I don't stay true to what I believe. Do not think for one moment that you'll disappoint me. They want him to plead guilty, but then he'll get a dishonorable discharge. So far, put it down! Get away from me, woman! Ah! Oh. Ah! May I help you, sir? I wish to speak to Brigadier General Musgrove. Uh, if you would kindly tell him Corporal Thomas Doss would appreciate a brief word. Be over in a minute. You'll be home safe and sound like nothing ever happened. Going to take the gun. 
Huh? No, he's going for a living. To plead guilty? Private Doss wishes to enter a not guilty plea. You wish to proceed to a court martial? Yes, sir. Mm. You okay? Yes. Are they still deliberating? Yes, sir. It isn't right that other men should fight and die. That I would just be sitting at home safe. I need to serve. With the world so set on tearing itself apart, it doesn't seem like such a bad thing to me to want to put a little bit of it back together. What the hell is going on out there? Let him go. You are no longer a member of the military. You are unable to attend this hearing. I'm sorry. I take it you are the private's father. I am, sir. Thomas Doss. Then I have the letter. What did he get from the other chief officer? The defendant's rights as a conscientious objector are protected by an act of Congress, and he cannot be compelled to waive those rights. Signed Brigadier General Musgrove, War Services Commander, Washington, D.C. Private Doss, you are free to run into the hellfire of battle without a single weapon to protect yourself. So this was a true story. reading his Bible all the time. Maybe it just calms his nerves as well. Keep him. Lieutenant Manville, 96th. We're gonna sign you, sir. Okay. You do us? Herb Schechter. You and me and Paige here. It's about the only medics we got left in this area, so... They're animals. Stinking animals. But you have no helmet. One size fits all. Oh. I have a rough climb up, and then it's to hell. I didn't think even they will be able to make it to the top. And he's like, don't leave me, I have kids back home. I got him, Frank! Right here! <laughs> You're gonna be right as right. Alright? I got him, Doss. Got him. Here you go. Come on now. Whoa! Oh. This people has so much guts. In survivor seconds, I wouldn't. Before anything starts, I'll have a heart attack and die. I can't get through at all. Boom! 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 
Find yourself a nice safe hole in or near the bunker. Rotate watch every two hours. We don't know what's out there. Where the hell are you going, Dom? Still more wounded out there, Sarge. I'll go with him. Poor soldiers. Should we find a hole and dig in? Sound good to me. The guy who hated him is now his buddy. <laughs> Maybe my daddy's a drunk. My daddy used to beat me and my brother just because the sun rose and then whip us just because it set. But when he would do it to our mama. Get away from me, woman! <laughs> That's enough! No more! No! Do you hear me? Pull that damn trigger! Stop it! Stop! But you didn't kill him. In my heart, I did. I think he wanted it as well. The father is such a tortured soul. So that's why I made my promise to God. I ain't never gonna touch a gun again. Well, I ain't giving you mine because you're crazy. Where are they coming from? <laughs> that's one heck of a good morning. <laughs> I called an artillery strike! Fall back! Artillery strike? I'm so really fun. I mean at a moment like this, think about your communication being cut. Still know what to do? That's the thing, right? The medic, medic had to have the the gun. Get out of here, kid! <laughs> Come here, son! Men. I'm scared. I'm scared. Let's go help the pain. Them down. Put your hand on them. Keep pressure on them. I'm coming back. Okay? Okay. Yeah, Jerry. Just sit tight, okay? Is he gonna get them done? I got you now, Eric. You have to trust me now, Eric. Trust me. Look at that. Stirring, we got move. 
Come on. Oh no. You can't go back up there with that reinforcement. You'll end up killing the rest of them. Give me the reinforcements. I don't have. gonna end up in a place these people will come through. And that's his best weapon. Trying to save them, even if they see the enemy. How many did he send down now? It's amazing to think this is a true story. guys coming from? From Hacksaw. I thought they pulled out. Some nuts up there dragging wounded from the top. Even lowered a couple of Japs. Get in here. There's nips everywhere. Uh, Son of a bit. I thought he expired actually. He really was not kiss you. <laughs> Ready? Let's go. You and me, come on. Something you gotta see. Good to see you, kid. Come on, sir. How'd you get down, son? Doss. Hal slept there. But Hal and Doss did this? It's a bumpy race. We got company! Come on! That's one heck of a next six. He's damaged like just like this. Without taking the gun. Are you wounded? Mentally, yes. No. I saw was a skinny kid. I didn't know who you were. You've done more than any other man could have done in the service of his country. We have to go back up tomorrow. I realize that you did on that ridge is nothing short of a miracle. And they want a piece of it. And they're not gonna go up there without you. Poor well, guys, man. So they never got the reinforcements? Again, same thing again, just another day.
surrender. Somehow stuck to your principles and then still help Desmond. So this is the real Desmond. His wife. Desmond. So, what a beautiful movie. What a peculiar kind of a plot. And what's even more interesting is that it's a true story of a person and at the end of the movie, towards the end of the movie, them having the documentary from this real person, that is that hits home actually. Because at times you, when you're watching, it's so difficult to believe a person would really stand by his own principles, going against whatever, especially risking himself being court-martialed and it's insane it's truly it's it's a very special plot i as i said i knew about this the axel ridge but i did not know about this whole character this whole story about it it's interesting i would like to actually read up after this so i just i want to say i, I truly like the movie the effects were really good, truly good effects. Yes, there was CGI in it. They, they went the extra length to make it as real as possible, I think. But um, in, comp in comparison to Saving Private Ryan, okay, I would say I prefer the Saving Private Ryan, the effects much better because there were a lot more uh, real effects. This one, again, they try to bring the, the goal of real war and how the wounds may look like, how actually when you are shot, your innards, everything just flowing out, how it will really look like. And um, so, yeah, it can be really disturbing for some to watch, but I appreciate when people try to do something more realistic looking. Actually, the, uh, regarding the story, it's, it's really amazing how everyone was looking at this, this one guy who was trying to stay true to his principles. So they only knew he was the Seventh-day Adventist believer or a follower. So that that way he did not want to pick up a gun and he wanted to pray on Saturdays and so on and so. But it's it's really interesting when, when, you, when there is war, there is no exception on your religious belief or whatever that is going on because you are needed to pick up a gun and go fight for your country. And fight for your men so I, I truly truly liked how he spin it or spun it around and said yes when everybody is trying to save their lives save the other people's lives by taking the gun why wouldn't he fix up the people and save their lives I think it was a really interesting approach and as always I actually have a, a lot more to talk about these things but you know where the full outro can be found YouTube backend analytics shows me that sadly only 5 to 6 percent of my viewers watch my videos till the end. That includes all my long and detailed outros that have my quotes, takeaways and my movie commentary. So moving forward, all my YouTube reactions will have much shorter outros and any of you who are interested can watch the full length outro along with my full length movie reaction over on my patreon page to clarify to everybody a full length movie reaction means a full movie runs behind in the background while i react to the entire thing therefore it's a combination of the full movie along with my full reaction to it 
there are no heavy editing in my full length reactions like you see on the YouTube videos because there are no copyright issues. The movie is not mirrored, no cuts, all the dialogue and the music is available along with all the scenes of the movies which are sometimes missing on the YouTube videos, again due to copyright issues. Any of you who enjoy my videos over here will definitely like my videos over at Patreon where the content is completely ad free and you have early access and also you get to vote for what movies I should watch next. So this is just an update for you. I hope you have a lovely day wherever you are.